Day Cafe, and I'm cooking today. Can you believe it? Yes. <laughs> there was a pause because I don't cook, but we do have our Good Day Chef, and this is a Mercedes Delgado from, uh, let's see, where are you, where are you from again? Smith, Smith Public, Public Trust. Trust. Yes, Smith Public Brooklyn. Trust. New place down in Brooklyn, and this is where you want to go to eat some Craisin Brazen, because that's what we're talking about today. That's what Brazen we're doing today. That's what we're doing today. So pretty much I have a pork shoulder right here. Uh, we use our pork shoulder in our tacos on our menu. Okay. And um, I'm pretty much going to show you a super easy way to to turn a nice big chunk of great meat into tender goodness, just like that. this is your that. grandma's recipe, right? It's, it's grandma's recipe. So this recipe. is like it's a southern feel? Definitely, definitely. Okay. So pretty much what you want to do is um, get a nice cut of pork shoulder. Okay. Um, right here I have a mix, a dry rub of salt, pepper, smoked paprika, oregano. And you can and just grab these at the grocery store. You yes, don't have to go anywhere fancy. Oh, it's so simple. Okay. And okay. pretty much what you want to do is get the seasoning in and you just want to rub it all in there. And, and you, you were saying that's what's all those flavors. Yes, you want all those flavors to definitely get through into that meat. Okay. All over. So massage that you shoulder. Wanna massage it. You want to put a lot of care and a lot of love into this meat because ladies, like you would do your husband <laughs> yes, when he comes home from work, because that you shoulder. will reap the benefit <laughs> right after. It. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Now you cut this pork before you started. Yes, doing of the rub. course. We, you yeah. definitely want to score your meat, uh, score the skin and through the fat, so you can okay. definitely get those seasonings down deep in there and okay. deep into your meat. So pretty much after you. Um, cover it in the seasoning, right. you're going to uh, sear it on high heat and a little bit of oil, okay. get a nice crust on there, and after that, throw it into some pork stock, throw a couple onions in there, some right. carrots, bay leaves, and cover it with some aluminum foil, and Now, that's what, it. besides the way you prepare the food, what's really the difference between grilling and braising? Well, grilling, you're pretty much working with um, more of a high heat. Okay. Um, if you're gonna grill it, I would definitely recommend you to smoke it okay. um, versus just putting it on on the grill because you're not gonna get that tender meat like you would. So if what's you were the difference in the it. flavor? Um, the flavor you're gonna get more of a smoky flavor from grilling, but with this you're gonna get definitely more tender result. Okay. Yes. And to, do you put this in a crock pot or do you put it in a roasting pan? You can put it in a roasting pan. Right. Have some liquid and cover it. So put it in the pot and then yep. just go to work and put it in the oven low and slow 300 degrees and let it go and then you have this and this is what our audience is going to taste i did this last night before i went to bed <laughs> it is delicious in my opinion you guys will love this we're going to let you try it so this is a little braised pork yes that's your final result um you're going to get tender falling off the bone meat that's okay. full of all those flavors that you that Great. you rubbed it down in. Great, and we have an opening in July down in Brooklyn. Yes, we're open store. now. We have a soft opening going on right now, but the okay. grand opening will be right after World Cup. Great, thank you. You're very welcome. All right, you guys, we're gonna give this out to our studio audience. Back to you guys. Mm. That looks delicious, Julie. And I know you put a lot of effort